Hey guys, this is Yanks Rock 1000 here, doing a browser speed test for three of your favorite browsers for the iBook G3. First, we'll start out with Safari, then 104 Fox, optimized for the G3, and then Camino. So let's get started right now. Off, we'll be loading the browsers all to the same homepage. Then we'll be doing two other web pages to test the speed. Obviously, none of the browsers will do Flash very well, if at all. So it wouldn't be fair to test any Flash web pages. The web pages that we do will just be normal web pages that you would do on your normal web browsing day. First, we have Safari, Apple's very own browser. Now we'll be starting up Safari to this Apple Start page. We'll be waiting until the whole page is loaded, ads, everything. You see it's loading, and then 9.5 seconds. We'll be keeping track at the end, so we'll just tell you the scores at the end. If you want to go over to the end right now to see the scores, you can do that. But if you want to stay and watch, that would be more than good. Next, we'll be going to MacRumors.com. It doesn't really have many ads or anything, so uh, it's probably an easy site to go on. Let's start out. Ready? I'm going to wait until everything is loaded up again. Still loading up. Still loading. And there. 16.8 seconds. Next we'll be going to ESPN. Ready? Go. ESPN is a bigger website than Macrumor, so it might take a longer time, but I think. Hmm. Still loading up. There it is. 20.7 seconds. Next is 104 Fox, with this, which is optimized for the G3 process. 104 Fox now. Remember, it took 9.5 seconds for Safari to start up. Here it goes to this. Wait until it starts up all the way. Safari is closed. And Macrumors.com now. You'd see if it started all the way up here at the blue mark. Once that stops spinning, we'll stop timing. And here we go. Still spinning, and there it is. 17.5 seconds. We go into ESPN.com. It took 20.7 seconds last time on um. Safari, ready? Go. See, it's loading up. Looks like most everything is loaded significantly faster than Safari for this web page so far, but things still spinning, so we'll stop it. 16.9 seconds. So last, we'll have Camino, which is also a Mozilla browser. So we'll start out Camino with the same page as we've done for the last two. Starting out now, still going up and down, and it's been about 10 seconds. This took Safari 9.5 seconds. Took. And we'll see once this red thing isn't there anymore, then we know that it's done. And there, there it is. 25.7 seconds. Okay, right now we'll go back to Mac Rumors. See, it's loading. Gets there pretty fast. Waiting for the red thing to stop. And then we can see it just stopped. 11.7. So far, um, 10.4 Fox has been the fastest for ESPN, so we'll see right here. Here we go. ESPN go. And now we can see right there. 13.4 seconds. The fastest for the last two websites was Camino, which is actually pretty good. Um, as you can see, Safari had an average of 15.6 seconds for all three of them. 15.6. Then um, 104 Fox had an average of 18.5 seconds, which is just about three seconds more than Safari. 
and the Kamido had 16.9. So, um, the fastest was Safari at 15.6, but remember these scores aren't really, um, they might not be accurate for all websites. The outlier for the Safari was 9.5, so that would have been more usually, and the outlier for Kamino, as you could see, was 25.7. Um, 10.4 Fox was the most consistent out of all of them, so that might be the most um, accurate score, about 18.5 seconds. Um, remember, on this iBook, it's about 10 years old, so you won't see any astounding speeds, but these are the three best browsers that I've seen that can do um, web browsing. So, um, as you can see, you might want to try out the standard Firefox uh, Safari, which already comes on your iBook. And if not, you should try these other two options as they all, they both are great choices as well. So this is Yanks Rock 1000. Subscribe for more videos on the iBook, and I'll be back in the next video.